hello and welcome back to loving the scriptures it's been a while since i've said this but this podcast loving the scriptures is really about helping you to love your bible more that is why we have a scripture centered perspective you know it's one it's not one of those podcasts where we just come and maybe do an interview or something like that it's intentional what or who we are interviewing here (laughs) i want to say is the bible the bible is our guide is our light and we are seeing how to derive profit from the bible how to learn how to grow how to get to know god by the bible this is why it is called loving the scriptures this is why it is called our social media handles are called we love scripture we love scripture we love scripture we want to see scripture we want to listen to scripture we want because there is no other way this is the love letter let me put it like that this is the love letter that jesus wrote to us and if i had a lover that wrote a love letter to me and i was not going to see her for a long long time you can bet that i would read that love letter a lot almost every day because i just want to feel loved and this is where the bible comes in the bible says that god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life god so loved the world god so loved you and i that he gave us jesus and thank god in fact let's go to john john chapter 1 verse 1 john chapter 1 verse 1 i'm turning my physical bible so that is why i'm trying to okay it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god i want to leave it at that verse one in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god this podcast is all about knowing and loving the scriptures it's not about using the scriptures to replace god because there's a part of the bible that says that oh you search the scriptures thinking that you would find me in it no the scriptures testify of jesus so we are actually trying to focus on who the scripture testifies on who is jesus by the words that is speaking unto us and who are we by the words that is speaking unto us so that has been the center central focus of our episodes in this season and as we go on to read from the book of matthew chapter 11 from verse 20 to 24 and just to learn another thing about jesus today again let us pray dear god you are the revealer you are the revealer you are the one that can take words and bring life from it you are the one that can that can literally make these words exciting to us there is that spirit of revelation that can come upon these words and they will jump they will shout for joy in our hearts they will live lord we want to see that we want to experience the joy that comes from scripture lord teach us yourself teach us teach us teach us in jesus name we have prayed amen so matthew chapter 11 from verse 20 to 24 i would be reading but even after we finish the episode i would really like you to meditate on the text yourself it says then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not who unto you Chorazin? who unto you bethsaida for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in tyre and sidon they would have remained they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and in ashes but i say unto you it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which were done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. And that is the text that we are reading in our episode for today. So, remember our two basic questions that we always ask ourselves what is this telling us about jesus and what is this telling us about ourselves okay let's look at the text again so the text says that jesus began to upbraid the cities that he had done his most powerful works in and what does that show us it shows us that sometimes sometimes the people that god has like that it seems like god has invested the most in that he has preached he has made sure that you heard the message made sure that you were born a believer and all of those things 
we are still the ones that sometimes disappoint God the most. And Jesus was just here saying that, see, if if the mighty works that were done in you, Beth, Bethsaida and Chorazin, were done in Tyre and Sidon, that city would have remained unto this day. In fact, he said that if Capernaum, if the if people saw these miracles that you you see now in Sodom, they would have repented and the city would have remained even unto this day. What does it show us about ourselves? <sighs> I think it shows us that sometimes we 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 I don't know I'm saying we 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 but sometimes we tend to frustrate the grace of God and the grace of God is not to be frustrated sometimes we tend to take it for granted the things that God has done for us and the way he has helped us and the miracles that he has done for us and his provision and all of those things and Jesus is just saying see if I were to provide the same way for some other people if I were to do this exact same thing they would have been so happy that they would have repented so now what is the what is that showing us about ourselves please let us repent what is that showing us about Jesus Jesus is ready to receive us and this Today, we are just going to ask God to please forgive us of any way that we have frustrated His grace. Lord, we ask you that you please forgive us any way that we have frustrated your grace, any way that we have come against you. We are sorry. Please, Lord, forgive us. The ability to be able to appreciate and honor everything that you have done for us, please give unto us in Jesus' name. We say thank you, Jesus, for your last our prayers. Lord, please help us to, to honor you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.